Hey guys, welcome back to the Stationary Reviews channel. My name is Tatiana. I'm the owner of the Stationary Reviews and I'm also a mentor and business coach for women that want to start their own creative businesses. And in today's video, we are going to be talking all about one of my favorite topics, which is graphic design. So if you are a new or aspiring entrepreneur and you really want to learn some of the tools that you can use to start doing your own graphic design in your business, then just keep watching. First of all, I'm going to just say I am a self-taught graphic designer. Um, I think the first time I really, really got into this would be when I started my blog back in like 2012, I think. And I started creating like the little images and things to go along with my blog posts. I used PicMonkey. That was like my program, y'all. When I started the Stationary Muse, I would make all my little graphics in PicMonkey. And then same with when I had my photography business, which by the way, if you don't know my story, maybe I'll have to tell it one day. I have, have had a lot of different businesses. Even before the Stationary Muse, I used to create these little um, different graphics. I made my business cards and then I also created a, what is it? Kind of like a little pamphlet that I would give my clients and stuff that would have my pricing and details and ex explanations of the sessions and all that stuff. And I used to actually make that stuff in Google Docs, I think. And I would like do all of the little design stuff in there. So very early on, I really, really enjoyed graphic design. And so my husband actually graduated from college with a degree in graphic design. And I think from just seeing him doing it and seeing how our artistic it was and then the fact that you could make money from it and just all of these things I was kind of like okay I want to do all this stuff for my own business I don't really want to have to wait on somebody to do it for me so I decided I wanted to learn it the right way so I ended up getting into all of the different little courses online specifically I hung out on Udemy quite a bit just really learning graphic design I took an intro to graphic design course I took all of the kind of like tutorial and intro courses for Illustrator, the whole Adobe suite and everything. I came out of that basically feeling like an expert for the most part in what I needed to do anyway. And over the years, I've really taken what I've learned from those beginning things and just with trial and error, a little bit of Googling here and there, and I've made it happen. I make all of my graphics for all my business things. I also make graphics as far as like logos, branding, just like different images, printed documents, things for other people. So all of that to say, graphic design is a huge part of my life. It's a huge part of my business and it's gonna be a huge part of yours, mainly because we are just in such a digital age and graphic design is just one of those things where no matter what you're doing in your business, you're gonna run into it at some point. And I wanna empower you guys with a little bit of knowledge on how to be able to do it yourself so that you don't feel like you have to wait on someone else. I think that is my biggest thing above all. I don't think anything wrong with paying somebody to do it personally I think it's great it'll take something off of your plate if you can afford it but I also feel like even if you do hire someone there is nothing like the freedom of being able to do something on your own and that goes across the board but just to be able to have that ability to do whatever you need to do for your business and not have to wait on somebody is just kind of like powerful in itself so I wanted to tell you guys my five favorite tools that I like to use for graphic design. And this is a little series I think I'm gonna be starting where I'm just gonna kind of share like my top five favorites. So if there's another top five you wanna see, link it down below, all business related, stationary type of things. Let's get into this video. So the first program, there's actually really programs, honestly, but the first one is gonna just be the Adobe Suite, y'all. Like honestly, if anyone ever was to ask me, I am kind of a little bit of a tech nerd in a way. I have this very, different side of me that loves computers. So if someone was to be like, well, what's your favorite program? Like if that was actually a question that would get asked, I would literally say Adobe Illustrator. When I tell you I use that program every single day, like I use it for thumbnails for YouTube, quote graphics, really any graphic for any type of social media platform, my wallpaper freebies that I give out, little PDF documents, the whole nine, I do that on Illustrator. And then I also use InDesign, which is another one of the Adobe programs to make all of kind of like my longer document form. So um, I really used to be into heavily designing planner inserts for my shop. That was how my whole shop started actually. And I made all of them in InDesign, which is another amazing program, but Illustrator is kind of like bae, y'all. Um, I really like using the program. I really like it because there's so many different things you can do within this 
one program and even though sometimes I know I should branch and use InDesign or I know that I should use Photoshop for something, I will literally try my hardest to stay in Illustrator. I just love it. I know the program pretty much like the back of my hand unless they like update it or something which gets a little bit strange but I think that's with anything and to me I would say the comparable thing to InDesign for you guys if you don't really want to invest in that or you don't really want to take the time to learn it which I completely get I usually will create templates for clients to use for their own stuff in Canva so I know you guys have heard of Canva there's free and paid options for that one and the nice thing about Canva which is not on my list but I just want to quickly do an honorable mention for it is that it gives you the templates that you need so let's say maybe you want to do your own graphic design but you just don't know like how you want something to look I think that's where a program like Canva or even PicMonkey I think PicMonkey now has templates as well something like that will allow for you to be able to create what you're looking for use something templated drop your colors in drop your images in your text all that and make it look really amazing and professional so that's why I wanted to throw that in there you don't have to have illustrator to make it work but I just personally prefer it so the second program I would recommend is not even really a program it's an app on your phone and it's called over you guys I've been using this app for about two years now I think and I love it I actually used to have the paid version for a while and then finally I was like why am I paying for this and I can just do some of this stuff in Illustrator but what I really like about over is that it also has templates in it it's on your phone it's very convenient especially if you're on the go and you just need to create a quick graphic or something over is your app to use I love it the templates are amazing very very good looking and what I personally use it for is for stories so I don't really use it so as so much for like just little standalone graphics but my my stories the way I'll like embed like an image of maybe like a video I just came out with or I'll actually put a video in there for IGTV or something there's just something about that 9 by 16 ratio I think that they have on there perfect and it's just really easy to use their templates drop in my stuff and make it just look effortless in a very short amount of time so over is such a great app to use especially if you want to just kind of do some beginner graphic design things you maybe don't have a computer to do it on or anything like that definitely check that app out for sure all right so number three on my list is procreate and so a little background on this i actually started doing my illustrations a few years ago well not a few years ago basically since my business started i've been doing illustrations i've now moved to a point where most of my shop is originally illustrated but I do still have a couple things in my shop that I obviously didn't make but that I purchased commercial anytime that I did my sketches and things I always did it on just a piece of paper I would you know draw it out then I would have to scan it using my printer then I would upload it to my computer and I would trace it um, in Illustrator and then I would fill it in with color and then I would put it into whatever design I needed like a sticker kit or just whatever the case may be so that was a very long process so I ended up getting one of those little tablets and I used that for not even kidding y'all maybe like two months if that and then we ended up getting an iPad, which was really, really nice. So we got the Apple Pencil, we got the iPad, and I am obsessed. Now you can get Procreate on your phone as well, but it is just way too small to really get into it. I mean, maybe if you wanna like touch up some stuff, I guess, but I really think it's nice on the iPad. So that is what I do all of my sketches and um, like if I'm like drawing something out by hand or hand lettering, anything like that, I just do it all with Procreate and everything is right within there. So I can draw, I can color on there and I can send it, airdrop it to my computer when I'm ready. So it just takes out all of those extra steps and it just makes it so much easier. So I highly recommend it, it is $9.99, but it's just a one-time $9.99. And I can honestly say that little $10, I've definitely made that back 10 times over, just even in my time and as well as just what I've been able to use it to um, produce revenue and things like that. So I think it's a great program, especially if you wanna experiment with illustrating or anything like that, definitely check it out and save yourself the time. So I mentioned to you guys that I dropped my designs into a program to do my stickers and things like that. Stickers is a really big part of my shop. It's one thing that I really love and hate all at the same time because it can be kind of tedious with the design work but once it's all done and it's like really cute and on the sheet I'm obsessed with it it's just kind of like those little intricate things of like having to recolor the dots and recolor the numbers for the dates and all of that stuff but I love using the silhouette software that is compatible with the cameo 
and I use that for all of my sticker kits. I think it's great. There's so many features on there that you can do. That has a lot of graphic design capabilities as well. And I think it's just a great program overall to use when you want to do a variety of different things. Now I do also have a Cricut as well that I wanna just point out, but when it just comes to those little details of the sticker kits, it's just something amazing about the Silhouette software. You just get a lot more options. And so if someone ever asks me like, oh, which one should I get, Cricut or Cameo? Of course I'll always ask them like, okay, what are your plans for? If you have any plans of doing a sticker, sticker kit, I always suggest to use the Silhouette Cameo. And I love that software. It is kind of another one of those things where you don't really get on there and just know how to use it right away. You do have to kind of take a little time to invest in learning how to use the program. But once you've got the basics down, it's one of those that is a tried and true. You'll go to it. That's another program I probably use quite a bit as well. I think it will probably come like second or third after Illustrator because I use it all the time. I'm constantly printing and cutting stickers for people and designing new kits and things. And there's a lot of other capabilities that allow you to do a lot of graphic design in there. Like you could even do like covers for different things in there. Um, I've used it for like little sticker book covers and all kinds of stuff. So the sky's the limit with the program. And I love anything that allows me to do multiple things within one program, which I believe, I feel like everything on this list allows for you to do that. Could I live with one without the other? No, it would be hard because my business has so many different moving pieces where each one has like its perfect little thing that I need it for. That's basically all of the programs that I use to design and it's not a huge long list or anything. One last thing that I wanna point out, well actually two last things. One's gonna be another honorable mention, but the last one I wanna point out to you guys is this website called Color Lovers. Now there are a lot of websites out there like this one, but it's basically a place where you can go to get inspiration for a color palette that you wanna use. So I mentioned to you guys that I was a self-taught graphic designer. One of the things that I really picked up and learned was just the whole psychology of colors and how they fit together and how they make people feel and why you might choose this color for one thing, like blue, you know, it's more calming and peaceful, whereas red, you might want that to be more of excitement and an alert or urgency. So there's different things to learn about that and not necessarily saying you need to go out and do that, but the Color Lovers website, what I like about it is it allows for you to take whatever knowledge you have of the color palette you're trying to create. You can look up people's templates of, well, not even templates. You can look up other people's palettes that they've saved on the site and then you can make your own. So you can make a free account as long, I think it's still free. You can make a free account and you can save all of your palettes within there. So let's just say you're coming up with a new collection and you wanna play around with some colors, but you're not sure what will look best. Instead of trying to do it in your head or try to figure it out on something, this thing really allows you to just click on the different colors, switch them out, play around with it. It's so, so, so cool. And like I mentioned, there are some other programs that do this as well. I actually saw one that looked a lot cooler than Color Lovers that I might check out. I cannot remember the name of it though. Um, I'll try to see if I find it, I'll make sure I link it down below for you guys along with everything else. But yeah, I think it's just great. So especially if you are just kind of feeling like, okay, I know that I wanna try this graphic design thing, but what colors look right together? There's a ton of palettes on there that you can pick from and play around with. And then you can always create your own from scratch. So definitely check out Color Lovers. And then the last little honorable mention that I wanna give to you guys is Pinterest. Sorry, just a quick example. So so my very, no, not first box. So my second box that I created, my second subscription box, it was, um, I think the theme was called Lost in Paradise. I'm pretty, pretty sure. And what I did was I looked up inspiration on Pinterest and anytime I'm working with a client or any type of design, if I'm trying to look up a new collection for myself, come up with a new box theme, and I, maybe I'm feeling a little bit kind of like, oh, I don't really know what I wanna do yet. Let me get some ideas. Pinterest is where it's at y'all. Like you can literally look up like modern logos or um, beach themed palettes. Like let's say you wanna have like a beachy type of sticker kit or a beachy collection, beach palettes. And it'll literally pull up all of these different things from other designers and things for you to check out. And it's so good for getting inspired. So there have been so many times where I have just went on there to get some inspiration like for that box 
and I ended up finding a really cute color palette. I tweaked it a bit to make it more to what I was thinking in my head. I ended up getting the idea to add the palm leaves because that wasn't even originally in my head. I had some other idea in mind and so sometimes you just get some really good ideas from just looking for inspiration and I happen to hang out on Pinterest for all things inspiration and I highly suggest to check it out. I know you guys probably already use Pinterest but using it in a different way such as this may not be something that you thought about. So I wanted to share that with you because it's such a huge part of my graphic design journey. So sometimes it's just to get kind of kickstart the um, ideas and get things flowing for you to figure out like okay this is what i like this is what i don't like so guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed my little fave five segment like i said let me know down below if you guys would like to hear any more of my top five of anything i'm such an open book you guys know this i would love to share it with you i wanted to really quickly remind you right now that the first 10 registration is open you guys so there are two classes there's the july 8th and july 11th the first 10 is a 90 minute live training on zoom with me and a group of inspiring entrepreneurs where we hash out the first 10 steps to starting your creative product-based business. We literally work through it all from the very beginning stages all the way through your launch and beyond. And it's 90 minutes. It's definitely a great, great time to do it, you know, with still things kind of like half open, half closed. So many people want to start their own businesses. It's definitely worth checking out. And plus, I spent probably a good week or two working on that page, y'all, to just make sure I had all of the information and the details and what all is included because you not only get the training, the live training, but you get so much more. So check all of that out. Link is down below. And that is basically it. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope that this helped you. I am such a huge advocate of people knowing how to do things for themselves. And I know sometimes that it may feel a little intimidating if you are not 100% comfortable or some people feel like maybe they don't have the eye for it. And that's even where I suggest looking at things like Canva or something where you can get some templates made and then you can use those templates. So at least you are not stuck waiting on someone to do something for you. And that is really why I wanted to share this graphic design video first because you don't want that to be a reason why you're held up on getting your logo made. You know, you don't want that to be a reason why you're held up on really getting anything created because you're waiting on somebody else. And I am just, that's one of my pet peeves of like for myself personally, I will learn how to do something quickly <laughs> to get it done. So that is basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.